I stayed at Jerry's cabin last night. It wasn't bad, but I could not go to sleep. And I don't know why after doing 16 miles that I could not go to sleep. I think it's because kind of everything hurt. <laughs> but feeling fairly well recovered this morning, even though I'm a little bit tired. And not sure how far I'm gonna hike today. The first shelter is only 6.7, which would make it a good lunch stop. But uh, I'm gonna stop and see how I feel. I don't wanna stop for the day that early, <laughs> especially because I'm trying to get to Irwin and, uh, and then on as close to Damascus as I can. So I need to do longer days than six or eight. So I may get there and have lunch and depending on the weather, go on another four or five miles, but we'll just have to see. It's pretty, pretty uh, gray and cloudy this morning, but uh, no rain yet. It's supposed to rain later today. So that's good, good for hiking. It should be cool and uh, got some things to see today. So I'll see how far I can get. I have a bit of a climb coming out of Jerry's cabin this morning. Um, I've gone, I'm not sure how far I've gone. I've gone part way, but there's about 1.4 to the top of Big Butt. Uh, and hopefully there's good views up there. I've heard it's nice. But it's reminded me how tired I am. I'm trying to take baby steps and just get my legs warmed up. It looks like there's a good bit of meadow walking ahead. That's a nice change of pace. So there's a sign for the Big Butt bypass which makes me wonder if I'm in for more rock climbing like yesterday I'm feeling kind of sore my calves are definitely tight and I'm having a lot of pain in my back along the lower part of my shoulder blade I think from hiking hunched over while I was doing those rock scrambles so I hope when I get to a good stopping point I can stretch and alleviate some of that discomfort. Well, looks like I was right. All right, I made it over Big Butt. Wasn't quite what I expected. I think it is that rock right up there that cleaves in the middle. <laughs> Does look a little bit like a Big Butt. But I was hoping to stop up here and see if I have cell service and catch up with some folks, but the storms are looking like they're ready to break open a little more than just the sprinkling that we've had, so I probably need to move on. But check this out. Giant rock here. And all these little plants growing on top. I'm about halfway through the morning section of my hike. And uh, we'll see how I feel after I take lunch. But uh, the sun was out for just a hot second. I was going to show you sunshine. Uh, back to gray. So anyway, the trail since I got down from Big Butt has been actually pretty nice. And it looks like it's gonna be a lot of downhill till I get to the shelter except for one last little up. So uh, it should go pretty quickly. I had a nice little lunch break at the last shelter. I left out of there about 1.30. And it's 8.6 to the next shelter. So I'm just going to hike on, see how I feel. If I get real tired and find a campsite, uh, then I'll just roll in and set up my tent. But I do think I, I could do the 8.6 uh, as long as I don't have any massive problems with my feet, but uh, I think I could do that and get in at about 6, 6.30, which would be just fine. So today will be an adventure of just uh, probably the first time that I've hiked out, not really knowing where I'm going to stop, but we'll see. I have been what they call bonking for the past mile or so. I just uh, think I needed more calories or more protein for lunch than I got. So this little side of a waterfall is a welcome break. Even though the rain's starting to come down now, it's nice to just take a second and appreciate this. So this section of the hike has definitely got me struggling. It's just, it's deep. I know that doesn't look bad on camera, but it's pretty steep and uh, I'm just, I think I'm feeling the effects of yesterday and today, but thankfully I found this in my pocket. <laughs> I've, uh, I've had some other snacks, but hopefully this will help out, maybe give me the boost that I need to get up the hill. So I was having a real meltdown a little while ago, tears and all, and I found a sweet campsite and I sat down and I thought, should I stay or should I try to hike on? 
and I just couldn't decide. I was sitting there debating and drinking water and needing another energy too when this guy named Etienne came by and uh, he actually is hiking with um, possibly who I had a break with this morning and he said they had stopped at the hostel to get some ice cream. I was like, oh man, I would have loved some ice cream. But, you know, he said they were hiking on to the hostel and asked me if I was. And I said, well, I, I hope so. I think I can make it. But, you know, I'm a slow hiker. And he says, you know what? You've got plenty of time. You'll make it. And it was so nice just to have a few encouraging words right when I needed them because this was, yeah, it's not fun to balk. I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but when you just, you know, everything in you just quits. And it's, um, it's a physical thing, but it's so hard. And uh, I'm hiking again, so hopefully I'll make it to the top of this hill and then make it to the shelter tonight. And if not, I know there's no shame in finding a campsite and stopping early, but I really want to hit my goal. Oh, good news. I made it to the first of two peaks for this mountain, so I'm making progress. Bad news is my back is seizing up again, so I had to stop and take off my pack for a few minutes. I thought I might go ahead and just eat dinner to get some more protein in me, but um, the bugs are nasty, so I'm gonna just sit for a second, do some stretches, and then be on my way.